everybody my name is jolene thank you so much for joining me here today we are going to be making butterfly wall art and i hope you guys will stay tuned and feel inspired by this piece of art thing you will need is crafting paper i used an a1 sized crafting paper you will also need butterfly templates i pretty much got this from the internet and then printed it out um, you will also need a, a ruler i used a steel ruler for this project you will also need knife cutter um, glue contour glue from the hardware stores is what i used you will also need a pair of scissors a sharp pointed pen and a pencil to draw the butterflies so uh, i took my black crafting paper black crafting paper and then i placed my butterfly templates on the crafting paper you take your sharp pointed pen press it firm enough so that it transfers onto the crafting paper butterfly the body of the butterfly the tail the head the patterns of the wings and the wings themselves side of the butterfly a line connecting the body of the butterfly is seen so that will help it fold so that will help fold the butterfly a bit easier you then take one of your other crafting papers and then you draw a diagonal line that is a line between two of the opposite corners that with your pair of scissors you then take your other crafting paper uh, and then you draw a line the a diagonal line as you did before but then now for this one you leave a bit more space from the actual diagonal line so that way we can be able to have enough room to overlap the crafting papers and glue them together so that it's one continuous seamless piece of crafting paper smear glue onto that piece of space that inch and then you take your other crafting paper and you attach that to your second crafting paper i hope i'm making sense if you need more clarification do let me know down in the comment section below and it will be such an honor for me to clarify things if this is not um clear enough then you then uh, glue that together press firmly so that it, it dries nicely
We then flip the crafting paper. Take your uh, ruler and then you draw using the width of your ruler, you draw a line from the edge of the crafting paper and you draw that line and then okay, you pretty much just follow the steps as you can see here. Draw two lines from the edge of the crafting paper as you can see. And then you do that on all of the four sides. You do that on all of the four sides. Once you have all the four sides drawn with the lines, you then take your scissors and you draw, you cut as you can see, so that way it's left like that and like that. So you cut that part and that part as well. So yeah, um, so that way it's easy to fold. You see how nice and easy it is to now fold once you have cut it like that. Yes, that's exactly what we're going for. I'm gonna repeat this process again. So you take your um, sharper, your scissors, and you're gonna cut there, 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 and there. I'm gonna repeat again there, 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 and there. So you take your scissors again, and then you cut. Don't cut beyond those spaces. Like you use that inter those crossing lines to guide you on where to cut. So you're gonna cut there, there again, and then you cut that last bit right there. So that way it's a lot easier to fold and. Yeah, and pretty much make the canvas. So once you have all the corners cut, you then it's now easy. You see how the line guides the paper and it's a lot easier to fold. flap that flap right there you put that right there and then you take the other flap and you flap it like that so that way it, it has a nice neat edge to it so you take your glue um, pour glue on the first lap uh, flap as you can see pour glue on the first flap and then once you have the glue you attach that flap to the other flap <laughs> then take your glue and then you smear glue again on the second flap on on that flap and then you attach that pull it for a few seconds and we are basically done see how nice and neat that edge looks right there that's exactly what you're going for yeah yes so you do that on all of the four sides um, all the four corners again attach glue right there on that flap attach that flap to the second flap uh, hold it for a few seconds and then do that on the top flap as well pour glue and then hold that for a few seconds and that is how you get your nicely nice neat edge right there see how nice and neat that looks that's exactly what we are going for so you do that again for all the four sides and then you take your butterflies um the butterflies that we made earlier the ones that are different shapes and sizes you take them and on the back side of the canvas, arrange all of the butterflies in a scattered way. Just arrange them however you want them, or however you feel that this is right. Um, arrange them, shuffle, shuffle around. You know, you want this to be here, you want this to be there. And I use different butterflies, that way it's, it has, it's more interesting. I then took my pencil and not my sharp pointed pen for this. I took my pencil and then I drew the outline of the butterfly wings onto the back side of the canvas. Again, I took my pencil and I drew 
um, the outline of the butterfly wings onto the back of the canvas. I did not draw the body because all we need is just the butterfly. The butterfly wings is the only thing that we're drawing onto the back side of the canvas. Mm -hmm. So you do that for all of the butterflies and once you have that drawn, this is what it will look like. You then take your knife cutter and then you cut the wings of the butterflies again just cut the wings of the butterflies nicely just the, the butterfly wings yeah we're not cutting the body and then you take your sharp pointed pen connect the two the top of the butterfly wing to the bottom of the butterfly wing and once we overturn that that is exactly what we're going for you see how nice and three-dimensional that looks that's exactly what we're going for yeah do that to all of the butterflies cutting all the butterfly wings for all of the butterflies them you okay first of all match them onto the butterflies on the canvas and then you glue that onto the canvas itself yeah matching the butterfly wings to the butterfly i'm at the butterflies on the canvas to the butterflies that you're attaching it to yeah Once you have that done, you guys are basically done. Um, I love this piece of art so, so much. I feel like it it's, it's a good piece of art. I'm very proud of myself for making this. And I hope you guys are as well. You can either place it on the table or if you want to hang it, you, you have to glue it with double-sided tape onto the wall. So that is it guys thank you so much for watching i really hope that you guys actually enjoyed making um this piece of art if you made it with me hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys are feeling inspired i am hoping to see you in my next video bye guys bye